Can you give a blessing for the people who are watching the video? In English? In English, yes. Blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, descend upon you through Mary, Mother of God. Amen. On this day of the Feast of St. Peter and St. Paul, the 29th of June, 2023. And how is it to be in Medjugorje, Father? How is it to be? Yes. I am very happy to come because I feel I am doing the will of God. Mm -hmm. And that's why my, I have peace and joy in my heart. I just arrived last night. Yeah. And I'm starting here. Yeah. So I thank God. I did not know that this is the house of Vichka. Mm -hmm. So I said my rosary there to start and I would be coming back to pray because I believe that everything I understood this morning, that everything started here. Yes. Two months before the apparitions, the Blessed Mother appeared to Vizca and she gave her a rosary from heaven. Two months before the apparitions. Yes. So everything started here. And I feel I'm blessed to know this. See, everything is starting just on the right foot. <laughs> thank God. Thank and we'll wait and see what will happen. And I put the request of my... Oh, t tell the story about the picture, Father. Can you explain this? I will not explain much, but yeah. I can say yes. that my friend Simran, yeah. that is from Cana of Galilee, yeah. he wanted me to bring this picture with me. Yeah. This picture with me gave oil mm -hmm. in November 8, mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. The oil came out of him, the face of Jesus and of his both hands all the way down and it stayed on the icon for one year mm -hmm. until November 8, 2022. So it is a miraculous one and of course there are certain blessings are attached to it and I think he is inspired from God to tell me to bring it here. One of my friends made this for me. Yeah. And I think if the, this I can give oil once, she will give more. Mm -hmm. And I don't want it for me personally that I will be the, you know, the, the interesting in it. No, mm -hmm. it is for the glory of God, for the salvation of source. People would see it and they would receive blessings and pray. This is my only a goal that people this picture will be really will give oil again mm -hmm. this is my friend once mm -hmm. exactly and uh, of course when people sees that then she the blessed mother the mother of all of us she knows how to gather her children and give them special blessings because she wants only the salvation of the, the soul of the children mm -hmm. And we are all the children of Mary, so... So Spe the original one, yeah. it is in Windsor. Mm -hmm. And uh, the church, the Milkai Catholic Church... In Canada, right? In Canada, in Windsor. Mm -hmm. And the church of S Simon Stillet uh, in Windsor. It sweat and give oil on August the 6th, the Feast of the Transfiguration. In 2019, I believe, mm -hmm. and uh, this is where I went to visit her in the same year on the feast of a saint from Galilee, Mary of Jesus Crucified. Mm -hmm. She is from Eveline from mm -hmm. Galilee, a Carmelite nun, died, she was born in 19... Uh, 64 in 1864 the little died. flower what, what is her name again the little L little flower of Galilee yes yeah Mariam uh. Bawardi uh -huh. and uh, she died at the age of 33 in 1887 yeah and uh, she died on the 26th of August yeah so on the feast her feast on the 26th of August 2019, mm -hmm. I went in the name of everybody in my country, the Holy Land, I'm from Nazareth. Mm -hmm. So in the name of everybody there, 
and for the glory of our saint and to ask for blessings upon the Holy Land through her intercession. Mm -hmm. So I asked that um, I went there mm -hmm. to honor her and to honor Our Lady at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because she says she found her life, she found her um, life at the feet of Our Lady. Mm -hmm. She was almost killed, she was dying, had her uh, throat cut, mm -hmm. but when she came back to herself, she found herself in a grotto, and there was a nun taking care of her. It was the Blessed Mother. So, in her honor and the honor of the Blessed Mother, I chose the day, the 26th of August, mm -hmm. to go s visit Our Lady in Windsor, mm -hmm. that gave oil on the feast of the Transfiguration, August 16, mm -hmm. 6. And I stayed there, prayed until midnight. I went with my brother, who lives by Niagara Falls. We came back to the church at 3 o'clock in the morning to continue our prayers. And at 4 o'clock in the morning, there was a big amount of oil came out of the original picture. So then, when the priest saw, after I went there six times, and each time oil would come out of the picture, the priest, he says, since you love so much the Blessed Mother, I want to give you a gift, this one. Mm -hmm. So he gave me this one, and a half hour after he gave it to me, it starts sweating oil. Wow. So, and I have it with me in Nazareth. But thanks be to God, it is a blessing mm -hmm. for everybody. And you, you told me you got your priestly vocation through, through Our Lady? Yes. How did that happen? Can you explain? <laughs> it's a beautiful story. Uh, that must be another video. Now we spoke about this, this one. If you want to continue with this, this one. In yeah. another video, yes. Our Lady today, mm -hmm. and to see how the Providence works. Uh, I did not calculate the timing to come here. My friend, he said, we have the feast for the Muslims in the Ladha, mm -hmm. in the Holy Land, and he doesn't have work. He said, it's a good time to go to Medjugorje. Mm -hmm. uh, so we came here, and he did not know all the details behind it. But at this day, St. Feast of St. Peter and St. Paul, the 29th of June, Our Lady had asked, through a great mystic, on this day in, in 1986, that I should be ordained a priest. And on I'm this happy. day? Yes, yes, exactly on this day. And imagine I would come here and I am informed, I did not know, that this is the house where Vitska lived. And this is where the, everything started. The apparition started here two months before the real apparitions, where the Blessed Mother appeared to her in her room and she gave her a rosary and other miracles along with that. And I thank God even I did not know that I would meet you, Tom, mm -hmm. and we make this uh, It's beautiful. It's it so beautiful. all providential. Amen. God had organized the whole thing without us knowing it. Now we are discovering it. Yes. So may God keep us in His grace and give us the grace to do only His will. Amen. And then we are happy and joyful. That's simple, no? Yes. When we are staying in His will. Yes. And what would you tell Father people? How can they surrender to the will of God? What would you give as advice? It is very easy when we are willing to do the will of God because we don't know the will of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if we ask humbly on our knees, we ask God to let us know His divine will, how we can glorify God through our existence on earth. Whatever is going to cost us, you know, because we think the will of God is to become rich, or we want this, we want that. God is not to obey, to obey us and to do our will. We are here to do God's will. And in order to God's will, we want to ask Him, to beg Him, let us know. Because oftentimes we can be doing so many things on earth, but God is not present. That, it is, that reminds us of Jesus in His agony. Mm -hmm. And even before His agony, mm -hmm. during the Last Supper, Jesus he knew that His hour has go, had come. Mm -hmm. And He told His apostles, one of you is going to betray me tonight. Mm -hmm. 
he had so much covered Judas with love that no one of the apostles had suspected that Judas would be the one that would betray him. Jesus knew, but he loved him like the others. So everybody started starting with Peter. Is it me, Lord? Is it me? He doubted of himself. Mm. He did not doubt from Judas. Everybody was doing that. And Jesus so much wanted to do the will of his father, and he said that all the time. He did not tell the apostles, it is Judas, catch him, don't let him move from here. No. He, the contrary, he told them, Judas, go ahead and do whatever you want, you want to do. Well, Judas left, Judas left, and the apostles did not even know why Jesus left. He, Judas left, they thought he went to buy something, because he was the minister of Titus. So, and in his prayers in the, in the garden, Mm -hmm. So he told his apostles that you will leave me alone today, you will abandon me, I'll be left alone. But not alone, because God is with me. So God is always with us, but we have to make sure that we are with him. He's always with us, with his grace, every second of our life. But we want to make sure that we are with him. That's why Jesus, through his agony, he said, if it is possible that this chalice would pass without me drinking it, but nevertheless, your will be done and not mine. Wow. So, since he wants to do the will of God, he made himself obedient unto death and the death of the cross. And the resurrection comes when we do the will of God, no? Yeah. And for us, and you know, if Jesus after all his big miracles and preaching in front of thousands of people, he did not accept the cross, we will not be present here today as Christians. Yeah. It is just for his death on the cross, the church started on the cross. And the cross, it is a great blessing from God for everyone. And this is what we don't understand. We don't want sufferings. The moment we have a little bit of sufferings, we think that God has abandoned us. No, He is with us, with His cross. It is a sign of predilection. We have to thank God for that and unite our sufferings with Him and to ask Him to share our sufferings and the graces to everybody in the world that He is in great need for them. So the will of God is to ask God what it is more pleasing to him <clears throat> for us in our life, what is the most we can do that pleasing to God, not to please ourselves. Mm -hmm. And this is how God will give us a grace. When we really want 100%, we want to do the will of God, he will answer us because he said, you knock and it shall be open. And he doesn't say a lie. Amen. <coughs> so this so, is how Jesus, when we really ask and we are, the moment we are ready, we surrender, then he will give us his grace. And we will have peace and joy. That's the contradiction. That's we it. think our will give us peace and joy. No. No. His will will give us. That's it. It's the a peace, sure bet. The yeah? peace of the children of God. The peace that the world can't give. This is when he, when he appeared to his apostles after his re the resurrection, mm -hmm. they were at the synagogue. Mm -hmm. He says, peace be with you. The presence of God in our life, mm -hmm. it is peace. And joy. He did not impose his, his peace upon us. He says, peace be with you. The presence of Jesus in our life, give us this peace. When Jesus was with them, they were in peace. When Jesus is with every one of his children on earth, they live in peace. Thank you so much, Father. My pleasure.